One of the great discoveries of the 70s was Indonesia, specifically the island of Bali, where a reeling left called Uluwatu was quickly earning a huge reputation as an exotic, mystical, perfect wave. The better you get at camera work, the more people want to hire you. The fellow approached me and said he wanted to shoot a film in Bali. And I said, fine. Now, we knew Jerry Lopez was already there. So he says, who do we take? I said, let's get Rory and take him over there, because Jerry doesn't know he's coming. That'll surprise him. And we packed up and left just like that. I'm at Chun's Reef, right down the road here. This guy comes up to me and goes, we want to take you surfing in Bali. I just went, Bali? Where is that? And they said, let's just go. The surf's really good down there. And this is when they first discovered Bali. And it was a different culture. You know, I've traveled, you know, but Mexico and this and that, but to a place like Indonesia, stepping into Indonesia was like stepping into time. And we went down there and just sat there and just couldn't believe the surf. I mean, it was unreal. It was incredible. How far can you ride the waves? We discovered the biggest candy store for surf that could ever be. And we were completely and utterly just blown away by not only the quality, but the consistency of the surf and the lack of people. We had enough surf in three weeks to do the whole thing. It was, it was that consistent. It was just all the time and not crowded. Most of the time it was just Rory and Jerry in the water. And we had plenty of uh, high cliff vantage points to shoot from, which is my favorite angle. Looking down, you can really see what they're doing. It's kind of like being in an in a amphitheater, you know, looking down out of one of the tiers up, you know, up, up on top, looking down, it's bitching. The surf just was there every day, perfect. No one around. It was, it was like a dream. About the time that Spider went over there to film Jerry and Rory, Uluwatu was the wave that blew everyone's mind. Uluwatu opened the gates to Indonesia, which is now the premier wave zone. More perfect waves per square mile than anywhere else on Earth. The Indian Ocean was indeed the best surfing ocean in the world. In the mid 70s, Lopez and Russell were uh, state of the art. Uh, goofy foots in Indonesia's the land of left, so that was like Burr Rabbit in a briar patch for them. Their surfing was unleashed there, and it probably was uh, a defining moment in their lives as well as the sports. 